My name is Irene Noli. I'm an artist working with sculptures uh, in different scales and also working a lot with uh, public art. My material is clay and the porcelain figurine has been like my main focus through my whole uh, artistic project. Uh, and during the years I've been also more interested in, in taking it towards a, a larger degree of abstraction or more abstract sculptures. We are now in Sweden in my studio. It used to be an old uh, car workshop. I saw it 10 years ago and I also saw the potential, what this could be, what it could become. And uh, it took quite a while, some years to make it into a studio, but now it's just the way I want it to be. I'm very interested in, uh, in all the techniques <laughs> uh, when working with clay. I started up with casting when I was uh, in my uh, master project in uh, the National Culture Art in Bergen. And I decided to go to the only porcelain factory in Norway, which is Porsgrunn, and I wanted to borrow their molds, their molds that have been used for production for their figures. And they said, yes, you can come, you can use them. And I really started to work in this very three-dimensional collage way and uh, finding almost like the Norwegian heritage <laughs> of uh, figurines, which was a lot of polar bears and, and other um, reindeers, etc., from the Nordic fauna. And then I could cast them and I could make a, like a remix of them and added things together that was not supposed to be together. And gradually I felt that I would rather like model parts and be more free in what I could choose. And uh, I took it more and more away from, from like the factory made porcelain figurine into more model where you could see the marks from the my hands, etc. I wanted to uh, maybe wake up the porcelain figure and see that there's still potential in it. And, uh, and I think the reason why I wanted to do that was because the porcelain figure was something that I grew up with. It was in my, my family, family's house and it was something that everyone kind of connected to in one way, but at the same time, it was also something that no one expected anything from. It was looked upon as like more kitsch and didn't have value. And I thought that I could maybe give it value again, using it in my artwork. I worked at Kio, uh, the National College of Art, uh, for eight years. And I was there as um, teacher at the ceramic department or the art and crafts department. I, I really like to work with the students to help them to develop their own artistic projects and uh, to be a part of a very important time of uh, these young people's lives. I also then had a research a part in my position and I spend my research period working with a project I called the porcelain room where I wanted to work with the porcelain sculptures into an installation and add uh, other materials as well almost like furnishing the gallery room and uh, letting each sculpture become a whole, not like one single sculpture around, but as, mm, as a total work of art. <laughs> I gradually became more interested in the abstraction of the sculpture, of the figure, and maybe more um, <laughs> things that's unseen. Maybe it could be more like organs or body parts or inside the body, almost like going underneath the surface of uh, the material <laughs> of the porcelain and um, showing things that feels like more unknown and a bit unfamiliar to us.
And I have also been very interested in glazing um, more and more and the colors and the structures or textures. And um, that's something I've been working with and developing um, more lately. I work a lot uh, because I think that's important. And right now I have a very nice assistant. So we are very scheduled. We start every day at nine and, and work at least till five. But being an artist, it's like you're always working in a way thinking about what you should do or seeing something that you could put into your project or being inspired. My latest work uh, now is, is very abstract and it's about the body and it's also about the pots. I kind of continue to work with it in a collage way. I build them up with fragments. And um, that could be fragments that are casted, or it could be fragments that are modeled, or it can be pressed modeled from my plaster molds. And I think that when you look carefully, you can see that there are different parts, but they also become like one whole. So I think you can see maybe something that is familiar, but it also melts into something more abstract. I got this commission to a school up in Harstad uh, and I wanted to make a sculpture that the children could also physically uh, be involved with. So I made a sculpture that you could also then go inside it and crawl through and come out on the other side and you could also be on top of it and explore it very physically. All my sculptures in the Public space has been made almost for use in a way. <laughs> I have been now involved in a project called Afterglow, and that's a Nordic project. And it's Bettina Keppe and Katrine Danielsen who initiated it. And they invited artists from the Nordic country to um, do some research about what's uh, left of the porcelain industry in the Nordic uh, countries and actually to have residences in those factories that are still there. Today we know that collaboration is more important than ever and we have to look beyond our own boundaries. I work now towards different uh, exhibitions and I have one public art commission that I will finish in June. My uh, artist assistant Ming Xu Li and I we will have an exhibition in Galerie Format in August. It's a collaboration work. Uh, my next exhibition it's a solo exhibition and it, it will be in Kunsthalgren in 2023 and the Norwegian title is Karkanium. That means a secret place. I want to make an exhibition where I pretend that we are somewhere where we haven't been before, but it's, it's outside. And um, I will uh, um, work with birds and water into my sculptures. And I will create an installation where you can be in, be a part of or sit inside it. And hopefully this exhibition will travel abroad or parts of it. Um, and it can be shown also outside of Norway. <laughs>